Hello friends, welcome to this very interesting session for withdrawing money from an ATM. You all must be aware of the ATM machine and also the ATM card, that is the debit card which is used for withdrawing money. You must have seen your parents carrying the uh, carrying a plastic card, which they might be saying you it as a debit card. They use that card for purchasing, for the online purchasing, and also the uh, withdrawing money from the ATMs. You must be aware of different uh, ATMs of different banks. That is the SBI ATM, that is State Bank of India ATM, ICICI Bank ATM. HDFC ATM. So all the banks have got their ATM machines installed in the markets or in their vicinity. Right? Or in your neighborhood you might have seen. Now that is that is having the machine. That's it. And the, your parents are carrying the card. Now they are using that card for withdrawing money from the machine. Right? So isn't it a big question that uh, I am say I have to withdraw money from my account which is in HDFC bank. I'll, I'll take that debit card of HDFC bank and withdraw money from the ATM of ICICI bank. See I have my account in HDFC bank. How come this money has been transferred? Right? How can I withdraw money from the ATM of ICICI bank? Or how an ATM vending machine or the uh, this thing, the uh, ATM machine is uh, giving money out of it? How is your account linked to it? Right? So there are many more questions. So I'll be just uh, explaining you how this uh, debit card works, how this ATM machine works, how it helps you to withdraw money from your account. Right? So uh, let's start our session here. See, first of all, what is an ATM? ATM stands for Automated Teller Machine. Right? So, it is an automated teller machine. This machine was originally created for dispensing cash to customers and it also helps them to check their account balance. See, uh, everyone is having uh, uh, their account in one or the other banks. Now these days ATM machines are there in the uh, are installed right say in the in your neighborhood in the market etc Now for withdrawing money from an ATM an ATM card is needed See an ATM card looks like this this is just a picture of the ATM card of any bank what is there this is the uh, there is the name of the bank this is some new life bank and uh, it can be an ICICI bank or HDFC bank or SBI right this is the card number which is given to each and every customer so each and every customer is or the account holder is having a specific card number then the name is displayed over here and the validity now at the back of the card uh, you must be seeing this magnetic strip is there see the, in this magnetic ribbon all the informations of your account are stored Right now, let's move to how to withdraw money from or how the money is withdrawn from ATM machine. See what happens. See, this is an ATM automated teller machine. From here, we swipe the card. The first step is swipe the card. Now, inside the machine, there is a card reader. Now, the card reader in the machine reads the stored reads and stores the account information recorded on the magnetic strip of the card. I have shown you the magnetic strip. See this is the magnetic strip. So all the account information is stored in this magnetic strip and this should not be scratched. You should carry the ATM cards very carefully. So what is the first step? Swipe the card. Then what happens? The card reader in the machine reads and stores the account information recorded on the magnetic strip of the card. Right? Then the next step is uh, a message is displayed on the screen that is enter PIN. See every account holder on that or the debit card carrier is provided with a PIN by the bank initially. 
then the account holder changes that pin and uh, remember it should be very uh, it should be kept in your mind you should not write it anywhere you should keep it in your mind you should not disclose the pin okay now what happens once you enter the pin what will happen the machine converts pin into an encryption and sends it to the host processor or which links it to the bank terminal so what will be done the machine converts pin into an encryption and sends it to the host processor which links it to the bank terminal see whatever is the bank it will link it to the bank terminal then the host processor compares the pin with the recorded information for verification first of all you swipe the card the message appeared in the screen that is enter pin right now that pin was converted into an encryption and it was sent to the host processor there the host processor what will do it will compare the pin with the recorded information and verification which is done at the time of providing the card to the account holder then the next which appears on the screen is on the atm screen is atm sends the request that is request amount so then you have to enter the amount whatever you want to withdraw it's 1000 2000 5000 10000 any amount then atm sends the request to the host processor which forwards it to the networks now these are the networks that is a visa mastercard for approval right now when this has happened then what will say the request has been transferred to these networks right the next thing what happens is account check the network that is a visa or mastercard uh, network is there and that asks the bank to authorize withdrawal which is done after checking the customer's account right so after the network it asks the bank to authorize the withdrawal say the bank has authorized it the uh, pin code is correct it has verified it then this network asks the bank right after checking the customer's account whether that much amount is available or not say when the bank says yes an electronic funds transfer takes place from the bank to the host processor account so the fund transfer will take place from the bank which is the bank of the account holder right to the host processor account the host sends an approval code to the atm the next step is what the host processor will send the approval code to the bank the next step is bill count an electric eye counts out bills for the from cash cartridges located either at the bottom or behind the computer screen and pushes it out of the cash slot so do you understand this what happens let's just revise it first of all swipe the card properly right then there is a card reader in the machine which reads the information recorded in the magnetic strip of the card then it asks to enter the pin so once the pin is entered it will be converted into an encryption and sent to the host processor now this host processor is linked to the bank terminal there the host processor compares pin with the recorded information for verification the next is it requests for the amount atm sends the request to the host processor which forwards it to the networks right now these networks will approve it first the next is the network asks the bank to authorize withdrawal which is done after checking the customer's account say if the amount is less in the customer's account then it will not authorize right it will say that the balance is not there then saying yes and after saying yes an electronic funds transfer takes place from the bank to the host processor account then again the host sends an approval to the approval code to the atm 
After that, what will happen? There is an electronic eye behind this computer screen, which what it does, which counts out the bills for the cash cartridges, right? And then pushes it out of the cash slot. So this is how an uh, ATM works. How the money is withdrawn from the ATM, right? Now be careful while using the ATM card. Always remember the three, this secure pin. Right? Don't disclose it to anyone. So now I hope you have understood how an ATM works. And I hope you have enjoyed this also. And in the next sessions, we'll be discussing about few more uh, electronic machines, how they work. So thank you everyone for listening patiently and do have a nice time ahead.